Hey guys, this is Sunspan with a spotlight video for Bristleback. I never went to some fancy military school to learn how to beat a man after death. That's what bars were for. <laughs> Bristleback is a common red hero with 8 attack and 12 health. He comes with a passive ability named Barroom Brawler. Anytime an enemy hero that is blocking Bristleback dies, he will be modified with plus 2 armor. Bristleback's signature card is a 4 mana spell named Viscous Nasal Goo. It will simply modify any unit with minus 2 armor. Keep in mind that modify means it's permanent. In terms of stats, Bristleback is completely stacked. If he can get an early kill on a hero, that plus 2 armor can make a world of difference in the game. Please note that Bristleback doesn't necessarily have to kill to gain the armor. You can technically kill the hero from another lane, and as long as it was blocking Bristle, he'll gain the permanent buff. But alas, he won't get any buff if he dies in the process. Being able to redirect Bristle's attacks can help set up the passive. Luckily for him, Red is pretty decent at doing that. New orders and pick a fight will allow you to achieve this with ease. If you want to splash in some blue, the Messenger Rookery is a very popular improvement as well. Comboing the negative armor that will come out of your signature card with some separate damage instances like Blue's Conflagration or Ogre Magi's Ignite is also very powerful. Coupling Bristleback with Axe or Legion is great since he's such a big body. Similar to other red heroes, combining him with weaker heroes in the backline is pretty effective too. Your job is to soak up the damage while trying to protect your allies. Bristleback can be countered in a couple ways. There's the obvious PA Coup de Gras, which can be considered a counter to every red hero, but also any kind of purge ability will annoy him as you're able to get rid of that permanently modified armor. An example of this is Abaddon's Aphotic Shield. Another way to counter him is just going wide, which means putting tons of creeps on the board as he has little way to do anything about it. The usual items you would expect on Bristol include Phase Boots to reposition himself and Blink Dagger so he doesn't get stuck in a lane too long. Another really good item for any tanky hero is a Clazarim Hourglass. If the enemy is going to ignore a hero, you might as well punish them in some way, and what better way to do that than locking their cards? To see the ratings of every card from professional players, be sure to visit artifaction.gg. If you want to be featured on this channel, you can also submit memorable clips you see on stream to us at artifaction.gg slash submit. Thanks for watching and subscribing to Artifact Cinema. Be sure to click that bell icon in order to get notified when we put up a new spotlight or guide.